Woodcraft, helping you make wood work. If you, if you run into the metal with your buffing wheels, you'll turn them black. So I try to avoid doing that. <laughs> if that happens, it's just a matter of redressing the wheel. Take a block of wood with some sandpaper wrapped around it and just dress the wheel. And that will normally get rid of uh, that black. But once you've done this a few times and you get used to it, it's not that difficult to do. That's, that's one of the problems with sanding with wood. With the metal, with the divisions, you can find the sandpaper and the wood, and that's the wood. Only when you put it in the Yeah, you know, I, I don't do much in the way of wet sanding at all. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't do much uh, wet sanding on anything. I find that a proper sanding technique works just as well. All right. Well, the Beale uses three wheels, uses three different compounds, Triple E, White Diamond, and Carnuba Wax. You have a different wheel for each compound. And the wheels are, are uh, different types of fabric uh, based on the compound you're going to use it on. Uh, the Triple E is um, flannel and muslin, I think. And then the White Diamond is, or no, the Triple E is muslin. The white diamond is flannel and muslin, and then the, the carnauba wax wheel is cotton flannel, all flannel. Uh, so you have three different wheels. These two, uh, I think this one is a cotton muslin, uh, uh, I'm sorry, flannel and muslin, and I think this one is just flannel. The second wheel here has no compound on it at all. It's just a clean buffing wheel. There we go. Just that quick and easy. John, besides CA, what other finishes can you do? You know, it's interesting. It's a good question. Um, I think that sometimes we as pin turners tend to forget that a wooden pin is still a woodworking project just like any other woodworking project. Uh, and so finishes that you would use on you know, other types of projects are perfectly appropriate for a wooden pen. Um, there are some people that like to use varnish, uh, you know, of, of, in all its various flavors, you know, polyurethane, uh, oil-based, water-based, uh, you know, um, there's different methods of applying it. Uh, some people like to, they, they set up a special kind of mandrel and they'll dip it in a in a can of, of finish, um, that's that's a very that can be a very nice finish. Um, some people will use an aerosol lacquer, uh, which I understand works really well. I've never tried that, but I, I read a lot of good things about it. Um, so there, you know, there there are several different things that you can use as a finish on a on a wooden pen. Yeah. Pretty much, if it's wood and it's a type of finish that you can use on it. You can use that on the pan. Yeah. In general. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the comp buffing compound in here? 
the white spin? You know, I think it might be. Yeah, yeah. I, that that's an unusual. I haven't seen that happen before in in the, the CAs that I've used. Uh, I don't know if there's. Yeah, that must be a pretty porous wood. Actually. It is fairly porous. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know, maybe I didn't get enough dust out of it. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what the white flecks are. I haven't seen it in that wood before. Special on a palm tree. Yeah. Yeah. Palm tree wood. I have not used palm. I try to stay away from that stuff. I did too after the first two that I tried. Uh huh. Did you have the white stuff on the. I had the white stuff on the finish, but my worst problem was the little. It's like a bunch of seeds together. Oh, yeah. One of them will pop out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's all in how you look at it. What some people look at an imperfection, I'll look at it as unique. There, yeah, sure. Yeah, you're right. It's it's all a matter of perspective. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the crystal coat. The what what Jim is referring to is a typical friction finish. Uh, friction finishes are really nice because they're real quick and easy to put on. Okay, uh, it's basically put them on a rag, turn the lathe on, smear it back and forth, and just keep working it until it gets hot. Okay, but with friction finish, you've really in, in order to properly apply it, you've got to work it up to where it's really really hot. Okay, um, you, you've, it's almost got to feel like you're about to burn your fingers. Okay, when you're working that polish back and forth, the the best way that I can describe it is trying to pick the lathe up by the mandrel. Okay, you want to use a, a good amount of force to create lots of friction, which generates lots of heat. The hotter you get a friction finish, the better it will work. Friction finishes are not permanent. Okay, they will wear off. Okay, the CA glue will 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 last much much longer. Uh, varnishes, you know, actual honest to goodness varnishes will last much longer than CA than uh, friction finishes. Well, they're not permanent. They're not intended to be. Okay. Um, Component cigar pen with she keeps it in her purse with everything else. Mm -hmm. Brings it back. I polish it two or three times a year. Sure. Yeah. And that's why because it, it's not a permanent finish. Yeah. Um, but it's quick. It's easy. It's inexpensive, relatively speaking, um, and it, it does make a nice looking finish. But it's got to be applied properly. Uh, when I use a friction finish at home, I will get it. I will will get it just as hot as I can stand. Then I take the whole mandrel off of the lathe. I set it over on my assembly table, and I just leave it alone. I don't even touch it. The finish is dry to the touch. Okay, friction finish is dry to the touch as soon as you're done. So as soon as you get it hot, it's dry. But because your finish has been so hot, it's very, very soft. And if you immediately start handling that soft, warm finish, you ruin it. Okay? It's the same effect as if you got, you know, you've got you've put a coat of varnish on a piece of wood, you let it dry 30 minutes, and then you go. And what do you end up with? You end up with a ruined finish that you got to redo. Same idea with a pen, okay? Same idea. Let the finish cure, okay? Let it cook. I sometimes let it sit overnight, okay? Just to make absolutely sure that there's no chance that that finish is so soft that I'm going to damage it when I start to handle it, okay? So let your friction finishes cure. The, the typical name that you'll hear, uh, you'll, you'll typically hear it called friction polish. Okay, well I think that's kind of a, 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 a misnomer. I think that's a bad name for it. Because then we start talking about polishes. Okay, and, and the immediate logical conclusion is that, okay, well, if I have to get a friction polish hot, I have to get this hot for it to work right. <coughs> Well, two completely different types of product, okay? Completely different different stuff. So I prefer to call it friction finish, okay? And polish, plastic polish. So I've made an acrylic pen, 
I use plastic polish on it, does that mean I got to get it hot? No. Polish, no. Friction finish, yes. Polish, no. Big difference. But people get that, they get those terms confused, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. It's a bad name for a friction finish. Crystal coat, hut crystal coat is a friction finish. I think it works really, really well. Um, we've got a new one coming in uh, from a company called Doctors Woodshop. Uh, it's, it's a polish called Pins Plus. See, there I went again. Polish. It's a friction finish <laughs> called Pins Plus. It's really nice stuff. We've been using it in the classroom uh, for our pin turning classes. It's a really nice friction finish. Um, there's one called um, Shell Wax. Shell Wax uh, comes out of Australia. Really nice finish. Um, <laughs> Probably, probably about my favorite, although the new ones from Doctor's Woodshop is it's a pretty nice finish. Um, but there's lots of them out there. I mean, there's lots of them out there. Um, so try different things, find one that works for you. Um, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. CA glue, uh, it's a nice finish. It, it's a more permanent type of finish. You can work it up to a nice high sheen. Uh, you can you can leave it at you know you can work it into a, a you know like a semi gloss if you want to uh, you know there's nothing that says you have to to polish it up as highly as what we did today most people will do that though uh, but however you choose to finish the finish CA glue will give you a long lasting uh, durable uh, scratch resistant uh, finish so for the the lady that carries her pen in her purse a CA finish might be the way to go the next time she brings it to you for refinishing. Next time she brings it to me, she's getting a new pen with that finish. <laughs> well, that would certainly work as well. She'll never see it again. Yeah. Um, and you may not either. <laughs> Uh, so that is uh, that's pretty much all I have for you on CA finishes uh, if anybody has any questions at all uh, please this would be a great time to do it yes ma'am when you talked about these people that are doing 25 and 35 layers uh -huh. uh, what what is their reason for what what are they accomplishing over and above the three layers well I think what is something